Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Windward Buddhist Temple's service today for our remembrance service. My name is Shirley and I will be your MC today. We will begin with the ringing of the temple bell or concho that signifies the beginning of a temple service. It is a deep and sacred ritual steeped in ancient tradition. It is the calling of the people to come together to listen to the Dharma or teachings. The temple bell represents the gratitude and deep appreciation of the members, friends, and guests at the Windward Buddhist Temple. Please sit quietly in your seat. Please rise for the meditation followed by the chanting of the Vandana and Tisarana by the congregation in Pali and English in this Jodo Shinshu service book on page 7.
me double. Namanda, Namanda. Please be seated. We'll now have a Sambujo by Reverend Baba Brennan. It's on page nine in this red Jodo Shinshu service book. vegetation, so Buddha's compassion extends equally to all people, but just as different plants receive particular benefits from the same rain, so people of different nature and circumstances are blessed by different methods. Namo Amidabhats, Namo Amidabhats, Namo Amidabhats. We will now have the remembrance of those individuals and pets who passed away this month of any year. Reverend Brennan will hit the gong several times to start. (laughs) 
Then the names of the deceased will be announced. Please go forward just to offer incense. Then Reverend Brennan will hit the gong again for the next names. After the last name is called and the incense offered, she will hit the gong several times. She will then go directly into the sutra, Praises of the Buddha, in the Jodo Shinshu service book on page 112. Neichiro Nakagawa and Taeko Tashiro. Masano Asara, Shizue Hirota, and Hisano Nishita. Kazutomo Ochikubo. Irene Nakao. Yasuto Ishima, Shaggy Tashiro.
Tadahiko Inaba and Beverly Matsuo. Randy Poon. and Norma Iwaishi. of the Buddha in the Jodo Shinshu service book on page 112. Oh, yeah. 
Vast are your great virtuous deeds, wisdom deep and so sublime, your radiant luminous light shapes all the world's foundations. When I become a Buddha, equal to the Dharma King, I will transcend birth and death, liberating all beings. My giving discipline, my precepts, patience, and effort, meditation, and wisdom shall be supreme unsurpassed. I will attain Buddhahood everywhere fulfill my vow, bringing to all those in fear great peace and tranquility. Though there are myriad Buddhas beyond measure, beyond count, and great sages numberless, like the grains of Ganges and I will honor each of them equally accepting none, even more importantly, I will seek the supreme way, even though all Buddha worlds are countless as Ganji sands, even though all shall reach them all and illumine every place. Such shall be my perfect world, such my power infinite. When I attain Buddhahood, my land will be first and of practice transcendent, its people sublime and rare, land equal to nirvana, beyond all comparison, with pity for everyone, I will carry all across all who come from ten quarters to be born into my land to attain pure joyful mind peace and great tranquility be my witness Buddha please Confirm my sincerity Now that I have made my vows I will strive to fulfill them Buddhas of the ten quarters With your wisdom unhindered May all Honored ones, know my deepest intention. Even though my body must bear great pain and suffering,
For the recitation, Golden Chain of Love, in the same Jodo Shinjo service book on page 126. I am a link in Amida Buddha's Golden Chain of Love that searches around the world. I will keep my link bright and strong. I will try to be kind and gentle to every living thing and protect all who are weaker than myself. I will try to think pure and good thoughts, to say pure and beautiful words, and to do pure and beautiful deeds, knowing that on what I do now depends not only my happiness or unhappiness, but also that of others. May every link in Amida's golden chain of love be bright and strong, and may we all attain perfect peace. Please continue to stand for the Gatha Arigatai in this Winter Buddhist Temple Supplementary Service book on page 15. Page 15. <laughs>
seated. We'll now have our Dhamma talk from our Reverend Barbara Brennan. Please put your hands in, Raksha. I go to the Buddha for guidance. I go to the Dharma for guidance. I go to the Sangha for guidance. Namo Amitabha. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I, I guess I could take this off now that I'm out of the path of all the incense smoke. <laughs> yeah, I felt bad. Last week, I ended up coughing a lot. Um, so it seemed to work, wearing the mask. Well, the end of the year seems like it's a time for reflection, to appreciate all the gifts that we have received, um, gifts especially of friendship and the Dharma, and to meet challenges that we encounter. In this time of wishing joy and peace to all, it is hard to realize the hatred and violence halfway around the world. Recently, a statement was made by some leaders from churches in the Nuanu Valley Interfaith Committee, a community. It says, we may feel powerless to make any significant change in generations of conflict we don't even fully understand. We can, however, refuse to accept any expressions of hatred, violence, and anti-Semitism here and call upon each other to remember the aloha with which we work and live every day. So the basic tenets of Buddhism teach that all things are interdependent, interconnected, and intric intricately joined together this interconnectedness does not only mean blood ties of parent and child or brother and sister that bind people together. It points to our friends and colleagues who give us mutual support and also to those who may not seem to have any relationship to us. Renyo Shonin, the eighth abbot of Honganji, lived in the 15th century and is revered for revitalizing the Jodo Shinshu Buddhist community by inspiring the common people to embrace the teachings of Buddhism as a source of wisdom for their daily lives. One of Renyo's followers, a man named Doshu from the village of Akao, describes the culture of mindfulness in the Jodo Shinshu tradition in the following words. Each day, one should practice mindfulness through a morning service. Each month, one should practice mindfulness through visiting their local temple for an image of the founder of our teaching, Shinan, is enshrined. Each year, one should practice mindfulness through a visit to the head temple of our Honganji. This is our challenge and goal, to feel the immensity of being present at the Honzan. This is a quote from Renyo Shonin. The mindfulness practice of the Jodo Shinshu School of Buddhism is based on hearing the Dharma or the teachings of the Buddha with an open mind and heart, beginning each morning by hearing the Dharma in a Buddhist service sets a tone 
of mindfulness for the entire day. How wonderful to have such great resources to learn about Jodo Shinshu, the former Monshu Koshin Otani, the current on, uh, the current Monchu's father writes his article sharing his thoughts with such clarity that making learning more understandable for all of us. In Jodo Shinshu, our feelings of gratitude extend to all those whose lives have made our existence possible. Shinan Shonin teaches that it is important not to get so attached to the idea that I am right, that one stops listening to other people's points of view. Pure Land teachings helps us let go of our ego and attachment to the ideas of me and mine, including attachments to my understanding and my point of view. When we become foolish, our foolish shell selves, we are able to learn from our encounters with all people, no matter how humble they may appear. Ringing the bell every morning at your home altar can be an awakening in gratitude and awareness of your responsibility to live each day fully and mindfully. This can be accompanied by reciting the three treasures and an appreciation for this life we all share. The Monshu suggests we say Namo Amidabutsu as if we're saying hello to the Buddha. He asks, do we know what Namo Amidabutsu means? Namo Amidabutsu has its origins in Namo Amita Buddha, a saying that appears in the sutras of India. Namo means, I put my trust in you. I will follow you. I entrust my life to you. Amita Buddha means the Buddha that cannot be measured. What is it that can be, cannot be measured? It is the Buddha's light and life, immeasurable light symbolizes a light that will not be stopped from reaching those in despair. Immeasurable life expresses the life that transcends time. In other words, we can think of Amita or Amida Buddha as the Buddha not limited by time or space, who illuminates us constantly wherever we may go. Namo Amidabutsu thus expresses the feeling, I entrust everything to Amida Buddha. Buddhism teaches that change is an integral part of living where we experience exceptional moments, the highs as well as low points of life, where we see our children grow up, grow up too fast, see our neighborhoods changing, feel the uncertainty of a new political area, see more homeless families. This is impermanence. How do we respond as Buddhists to the changing dynamics in our community? Perhaps by trying to be more understanding of that which is not agreeable to us, that causes us to think, having right thoughts, a right view, understanding another view, taking positive actions on our own, as little or great that it may be, volunteer in the community with Project Donna, your neighborhood watch, with Family Promise, etc. Reverend Jerry Hirano from the Salt Lake Buddhist Temple, it says, gratitude, compassion, mindfulness, are the characteristics of Amida Buddha. They are also characteristics each of us can strive for to be better human beings. It is his deep wish that each of us will strive to work toward taming our bonno with gratitude, compassion, and mindfulness, not just this holiday season, 
but every day. War is inevitable sometimes. However, there is nothing, there is something you can do to help to lessen the suffering of others. Is there? Well, as you buy gifts for your family and friends, ask yourself, can I have help others I may not know personally? That's a good question for all of us. As Amida Buddha looks to us as Bombu, as the object of love and compassion, how can we extend that to others in a similar manner? I realize that in Jodo Shinshu, we are often taught that no matter what we may want to do to help others, it is tainted with our ego and greed. Nevertheless, if each of us tried to adjust our attitudes a bit, although it may not change the world as we would like, I believe we could still help to alleviate some of the suffering that is so prevalent. Reverend Hirano continues, I thought this was very interesting. He says, the bells of Christmas rung by the Salvation Army volunteers reminds him of the sound of enlightenment. Just as the gate of suffering leads to the path of happiness, these bells of enlightenment show us the pain and suffering in the world. The gate of suffering can lead us to our own path to happiness and possibly at least shed some light on the path for others. I think we may see these Salvation Army volunteers maybe a little bit differently as they ring the bell. Our current Monshu Kojun Otani writes, in order for there to be peace, we must first be aware that all things in this world are interconnected. We should care for and value other people's lives as well. So how do we attain peace as we seek in the world today? In order to help stop problems such as war, terrorism, confrontations between nations and peoples, and political clashing, it is necessary that we first treat others with the same care and respect that we would ourselves. In the foreword of his book, The Buddha's Wish for the World, by the Monshu Koshin Otani, Robert Thurman, a Buddhist, writes, all things, the water and the air included, are linked together, one thing encircling and being circled by the other. The mountain and the river bestow us, bestow us with so many blessings. When the light of Amida Buddha shines on us, we are linked together as lives worthy of compassion, worthy of being liberated from ourselves. All things on earth, all things in the universe are in the fold of this greater life force linking us all. He continues, we see that Amida Buddha asks no questions whatsoever as to our abilities or whether our hearts are good or bad. Whatever kind of person we might be, whether we are bright or slow, young or evil, young or old, good or evil, the compassion of Amida Buddha shines its light on everyone rejecting none. If our hearts became pure, there would be no need for the Buddhist teachings to save us. Amida Buddha takes those of us who are without pure hearts and extends to us his heart of ultimate reality. We receive that heart when the light of Amida Buddha shines upon us. That is Shinjin. For Jodo Shinshu Buddhists, Shinjin is something that has been given to us from Amida Buddha. Because it is a gift initiated from the side of Amida Buddha, it is given to us by the power of Buddha's other power. 
For Shinan Shonin, Shinan is all that matters, and we are saved. The manifestation of Shinjin is the Nembutsu, Namo Amidabutsu. Please join me in Gasho. Namo Amidabutsu, Namo Amidabutsu, Namo Amidabutsu, Namo Amidabutsu. Thank you very much. Thank you, Reverend Brennan, for all of the information that you gave us. Being thankful for all the people, our family, our friends, people that we just meet and everything. And the fact that we should remember the gratitude we have for all the things that people do for us, whether that we know them really well or whether they're just people who work somewhere or whatever it may be. And so when we learn about our Buddhist teachings and what Shinran Shoning says, let's remember what we learned from them. Would you please now rise for the Gatha gentle hands in this purple book on page 17, and then continue to stand for the Nembutsu in the Red Jodo Shinshu service book on page 135. its light by day and night. Mindfulness is its protection by night. If a man lives a pure life, nothing can destroy him. If he has conquered greed, nothing can limit his freedom. Namo Amidabas. Namo Amidabas. Please be seated. We'll now have announcements by our president, Mr. Tashiro.
Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Reverend Barbara, for your Dhamma message. Thank you, Shirley, for being the MC. Thank you, Neil, for being our greeter. Joy for playing the piano. Jennifer for playing or uh, ringing the concho. And Ryan videotaping our service today. We have two guests. Well, welcome back. Rice Matsuda. And we have Shireen Fukuda, Ron Nakao's daughter. Welcome. Okay, some announcements. Uh, just as a reminder, as I mentioned last Sunday, um, the Buddhist Education Series will start in January. Um, the on there are online lectures. The first two sessions will be January 13th and the 20th. Uh, detailed information is on the, um, posted on the bulletin board. Um, so please look at it and uh, there's instructions on how you can register for the class, for the sessions. <clears throat> there's also important information about the upcoming Honganji uh, triple celebration that will be held in September. Again, all the information is on the bulletin board. Next Sunday will be the final family service of 2023. We will be celebrating the end of the year, while, well, of course, anticipating a new year, by ringing the concha the bell. So after the service, we'll all line up, and in Japanese custom, we ring it 108 times. So we have to uh, delegate somebody to count. <laughs> but why 108 times? It supposedly signifies the 108th worldly desires that we have and we need to cleanse ourselves as we enter the new year. Okay, so we can be pure. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, in February, if you can mark your calendar, we plan to visit Betsuing, Hawaii Betsuing, uh, February 18th. Uh, we visited uh, Moilili back in August. Uh, in November, we visited Jikoen, Honganji. And so now to complete our visit to all of the Honolulu District temples, uh, February 18th, um, and that should be a, a fun trip. And like the Jikoen visit, uh, there'll be by carpool. So we'll, I'll do a sign-up sheet and uh, we'll, uh, it should be a fun visit. I've picked up the uh, order of the Moilili um, t-shirts, the Maui t-shirts, and uh, we'll distribute it outside on the greeter's table. I think Merle will be there initially. <clears throat> We've also received the 2024 Honganji calendars, uh, which are on the back table. Uh, so there's a, a list of all your names, so members please uh, uh, Grab a calendar, just check yourself off, okay? Let's see, Shirley has some things to announce. Thank you, Dennis. Last week, the children made what? snowflake and a Christmas tree. Okay, this is, oh, you can't hear. <laughs> can't hear, okay. <laughs> Last week, the children made a snowflake and Christmas tree, okay? But if you will go in the back, you will see, of course, a wreath that's hanging over there. And this is, of course, a Christmas tree. And they are both made with, what do you think? Lego. That's right, they're made with Lego. Okay, and then besides that, I have some 
You can look at it, but please don't touch <laughs> because it's very old. I have, you'll see some snowman in line, okay, and a conductor. So I will allow, well, we don't have too many, we only have one child, but anyway, two. Oh, 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 that's right. So we have two children, and they can play the music. Okay, I'm going to set it up, and you can. Children can do that. Well, uh, large, older children can also do it, <laughs> and that's the reason why I'm wearing this. People must be wondering. And then I have something else special for. <laughs> Guess who? Gary. <laughs> that's why I have it all covered up. Yeah. Here you go, Gary. You wanted to see the show history. So here it is, Gary. Here it is. I was telling Baba he wanted to see it. This of course. Seven hundred million. He bought. What do you think he bought? Sixty thousand gloves for the children of the schools in Japan. Wow. Yeah, baseball gloves, yes, because he's a baseball. Yeah, no, can you, yeah, for, for the kids. So some of them said they would like Shohei to go back so that they can have him sign. <laughs> can you imagine how many kids he'd have to go to see? <laughs> but I thought that was really nice. And if you know, he was also selected as the most outstanding player in all, no, not only baseball, all athletes, no matter what they played, yeah. So, yeah. Special for you, Gary. <laughs> this commercial announcement brought to you by <laughs> Are you, are you getting paid by uh, Shohei? <laughs> no. Or the Dodgers? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. In case some people didn't hear, Roy said that uh, Shohei also bought a Porsche for a wife of someone that was. Who had 17. Who what? He had a number 17. Number. Okay, great. He helped get Shohei the number 17. All right. See, that's a good reward. <laughs> hmm. Number 17, Porsche. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Any other announcements? Oh, I actually, actually, um, I forgot to mention a very special person is in attendance today. Patsy Michihara. Welcome. Yeah, she's been a long time member of good friends of uh, our Sangha. Um, you come back first Sunday in January if we can celebrate birthdays, okay? <laughs> we'll have a special, I'll bake you a special something, okay? Amy, you gotta pick her up again. Okay, Bob has something. I have three children's book donated by Lisa. One is uh, the first Dharma book. Second one is the middle path. The last one is the I, it's me. You know, I, I read myself because I wanted to read it and it's easy to read so even the adults should read it, you know, so when you get a chance, please check it out. Thank you <laughs> and Merry Christmas. Thank you, Bob. Okay, otherwise it's time for refreshments. So if we could uh, 
the words of thanksgiving. It's found on page 126 of the Red Service Book. We are truly grateful for this wonderful food, a gift of life. May we share its benefits with all beings. As we partake of this food, let us remember Amida Buddha's compassion, which surrounds all people and all forms of life. Namo Amida Thank you, everyone.